Kyle here from Mobility in Minutes, celebrating Member Appreciation Month. Just going to go through a couple of different ways to open up your T-spine today. So we're going to start off with a couple of different smashing techniques to get started. So, very basic to start, you just need a foam roller, you're going to start off down on the ground. Now, ways you can get a different fixed point of contact is you're going to go ahead and lay down starting on the mid-back. You're going to go ahead and cross one leg up. Now, whatever leg is crossed up, you're going to lean over to that side. Try to feel that fixed point of pressure there. As soon as you find a trigger point or a point of contact that you can start to feel is slightly more painful, you're going to hold and just try to take nice and deep breaths. Drop your leg down, switch to that other side after about two minutes on one side. From there, we're going to try to fix that roller all the way up and down our spine. So we're just going to go ahead and lay all the way back right here. And we're going to go through three motions. So you're going to start off with an I go into a Y, and then you're going to finish off with a T motion right here. Okay? Again, do that for about five minutes. If you want a little bit more fixed point of contact, what you're going to do is you're going to grab these lacrosse balls. Now, starting off with about mid-back, the same place where you started that roller, you're going to come right here and just lay straight back. With your knees bent, you're going to go through a pelvic tilt and tuck motion. So hands on the hips, you're going to tilt here, so your hips are off the ground tuck under, and slightly move down, okay? Again, same thing, if you start to find that trigger point or that point of contact, it gives you a little bit of problems, just nice deep breaths, try to breathe through. You never want to feel like you're exasperated, that you're holding your breath through running one of these ex exercises, okay? After you are done with these smashes, these should take about 10 minutes. You guys are going to go into a basic T-spine rotation. Now, a more moderate or a more beginner level roll, T-spine rotation, you're going to use the roller, okay? So you're going to bring that right on your knee. Now, you're going to use the shape of the roller to help you rotate all the way around. So bring your hands together, you're going to shoot through and get a big rotation all the way around, trying to drop your shoulder down to the ground. Now my eyes are going to follow my hand the entire time as I work through this motion. You are going to give me about 15 on each side, just like that. Now, if you're a little bit more advanced, you know that you have a very mobile T-spine and you still want to do something before or after a session, you're going to go ahead and grab a partner or a weight Now, the exact same motion. I still want my knee up here, but I'm going to have that pressure down on my leg, making sure it doesn't lift off from the ground. Bring my hands together. I'm going to shoot my hands through. Big all the way around, still trying to drop my shoulder down to the ground, still letting my eyes follow my hand, and I'm going to close up like a book. Again, do that for about 15 on each side. So those are a few just basic ways to open up your T-spine. Enjoy.